So ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of the 2012 club champion and Malcolm Blight medalist is Scott Thompson. Thompson's the key, second most possessions in the AFL this year, Scott Thompson. He's averaging 30 possessions per game. Yinch, good kick. Thompson, so good. Steps inside and then races it out. Just good play, Thompson. Worn off. Off the code. Sturt boy back home, should know this ground better than that. Splendid tackle by Sloan, wrapped up. And it falls to Thompson, right. and he slots it. This is too much of it to Riley. Thompson deserves to kick a goal. He's been wonderful, and he does. Douglas gives it up. Thompson! Oh, boy. Brownlow. Give him some time. From 60 to the square. Got plenty on it. And it's all the way home. Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go through the leaderboard uh, shortly, but we'll have a quick chat to the 2012 Malcolm Blight medalist, and uh, congratulations, Scotty. Thank you. I don't sure if you're aware, but you've now become the fifth multiple winner of the Malcolm Blight medal. I wasn't aware of that, but well, you're I'm behind some uh, you're behind some fairly uh, recognisable names: Andrew McLeod, Ben Hart, Simon Goodwin and a bloke called Mark Rusciuto, so you're, you're in elite company. Yeah, oh, I don't know what to say to that, but uh, as I said, I'm, I'm definitely honoured to be standing up here again tonight, it's great. Now, what's going on with you? About uh, three <laughs> years ago, it was like the body was going to fall to pieces. No, and I don't know what you're talking about. Now, later in your career, at 29, you've always been a gun, but you've just got this amazing consistency <laughs> late in your career. Can you explain how that's happened? Well, maybe the fact we've got a very young list together keeps me young, but the body is feeling good. The fact that we've got a new coach in Brenton Sanderson standing behind me has managed my body really well this year. And for 25 games, I think it was, um, the body held up and it's looking forward to a break now. The year, there'll be a lot of people you want to thank and we'll, we'll get to that. How, how do you, as an experienced player, view the season? getting towards the end of your career. A lot to go still, so don't panic. Still young. Yes, yeah, still young. But do you see the season as a missed opportunity or a great stepping stone for the next year or two? I see it as a great stepping stone. Um, as I mentioned just then, we've got a great young list together now. I've been at the Adelaide Footy Club for eight years now and I think the list we've got at the moment is the best it's been in my time at the Adelaide Footy Club. Um, the coaching staff behind the group now is, is unbelievable with the work that they do and I think going forward uh, the window is well and truly open with hopefully a number of years of success. We'll get you to pop the yellow jacket on in a moment but mm -hmm. before we do that I'm sure there's plenty of people you'd like to thank because we've got a few other presentations for you. Cheers mate. Uh, I guess firstly again like last year I'd like to thank my teammates. Um, boys, it's been an, an unbelievable year and for memory this time last year standing up here I said to come back in good shape. I believe we've got a list that's capable of taking the club forward and to a number of years of success and to go from seven wins and 14th on the ladder to, to 17 years and, and finishing second on the ladder to playing off in a prelim was an unbelievable effort, something that the entire playing list should be proud of but, but not satisfied with. I think going forward, um, you've really got to strive to wanting to play in a premiership, to wanting to win grand finals because that's what we all play football for. And it was bitterly disappointing to lose to Hawthorne the way we did by five points. To be less than a kick away from playing in a grand final was disappointing. But as I said, be proud. But look forward to another summer. Lynchy, stop smiling at me. Looking forward to another summer on the track and, and improving ourselves. And I only have to mention blokes like like Michael Dowdy, who we've heard a lot about tonight, and Sloaney, like you said, mate, I love Mickey D too. He's a great fella. He's been around the club for 13 years now, and and 
Michael Dowdy's played in four prelim finals and, and yet to reach the ult ultimate success. And I think Graham Johncock, if I'm correct, has played in four prelims too. And a number of a number of us have played in three. And it's it's really hard to get to that last week of September and and hold up that premiership club that premiership cup. But um, I'm certain in my thinking and my beliefs that the group that we've got together now is more than capable of taking the club to its third premiership and hopefully more beyond that. Um, to the coaching staff themselves, the bloke standing behind me, Brenton Sanderson, he's been unbelievable for the club. You're 38 now, aren't you, mate? 34, he tells me, but he's still a spring chicken himself. But the way that he's come in and, and created this unbelievably relaxed environment, but one where he wants success himself is uh, unbelievable and the players relate really well to him. Um, they've got great belief in what he's trying to achieve with the group and where he's going to take us. So I thank you for your first year as coach, mate, and really looking forward to many more years to come. Um, to the other coaches, but in particular, my little mate Scott Camparelli down the front here, um, two years straight work, working with your mate has been, has been unbelievable. And I think the relationship we've built now has, has brought probably some of my better football out of me. He's given me a licence to just go out and play and, and do the things that I think I'm capable of doing best. So I thank you again, mate. Uh, to the medical staff and the physios and the trainers and all those people that don't get the recognition they deserve. Um, my good mate Vinnie Del Bono, who heads up the the trainers. Well done, mate, on another great year. It's been it's been fantastic working with you. I know all the boys really appreciate all the work that you and your staff do. Uh, to the Cairo Maggi Barry, I believe it's your birthday today. So happy birthday to you. But myself and the entire playing list really appreciate the number of hours you put in throughout the year to to make sure the boys' bodies feel right and their backs aren't creaking too much, so thank you very much. Uh, to Paula Lyle, who probably not many of you know, a number of us know quite well, <laughs> I thank her for uh, her yoga work this year. We've, um, we do one compulsory yoga session throughout the week, but there's about five or six of us that sneak in a second session, and the work that she's done this year has been unbelievable for us, and, and especially myself, um, keeping my body fresh and getting me up each week, so I thank you. Uh, I don't know who I've missed. My parents, mum and dad, who are here again tonight. They were here last year, and I thank you again for your ongoing support. It's been outstanding. Um, the number of years you've sat back and watched me play and driven me to games, and you never miss a home game and get to any interstate game you can. I thank you and appreciate that. Uh, to my two beautiful children, Ava and Harry, uh, I thank you again. You know, I, lo I love them to pieces and they really put all of this in perspective for me and they make me appreciate what I can go and do and to, to come home and see them of an afternoon is, is unbelievable. It puts a smile on my face and makes me forget about everything, that, everything else that's going on in my life. So um, I really appreciate everything that, that they do for me. To anyone that I've missed, I'm not sure if I have, but thank you very much. And and boys, again, as I said, be proud of what we've achieved, but there's more to come. So look forward to the season ahead and, and let's take the next step next year. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, the club champion for 2012, Scotty Thompson, and he'll get the yellow jacket from the coach. Yes, did you, did you, it doesn't really go with pink, does it? You've been wearing last year's around much? And of course the Malcolm Blight medal. And while Sando's placing that around Scotty's neck, I'd like to call on the chairman of the Adelaide Football Club once again, Rob Chapman, to come up and propose a toast to Scott Thompson. Well done, Tomo. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, a spectacular evening. We had a wonderful season. The team performed fantastic. Um, I think the count tonight reflected the season that we've had 
and a very worthy winner announced in Scott Thompson. Congratulations, Tomo. Uh, very well done. And can I just ask everybody to be upstanding so I can propose a toast. To the 2012 Malcolm Blight medal winner, Scott Thompson. Well done, buddy.